Local postal workers say the actions of the Trump administration and the Postmaster General undermine the agency and they undermine your vote. CBS Today's Kim Shine is live with the response from the postal workers. Kim. They sent out a letter saying that the public's interest comes before those of politicians and those who wish to privatize the U.S. Postal Service. It's a message to postal customers. We never leave mail behind. But worries do come from the Milwaukee area chapter of the American Postal Workers Union. They believe cuts to hours and overtime and fewer processing machines will cause severe delays. So when the postmaster general comes in and says, hey, we're going to reduce hours, especially during a pandemic when, uh, you know, there's more uh, people, more postal workers absent, those have the potential of, of delaying the mail right there. If you get mail, the union is urging you to call your congressional representative and say you oppose any actions that slow down your service. People are relying on uh, to get them checks. Medicines, absentee ballots, that's far from a joke. In Wisconsin, the Milwaukee City Clerk said the prompt receipt, carry, and delivery of mail is of great importance. President Trump has linked mail-in voting to voter fraud, but tweeted his support for it in the battleground state of Florida. The Milwaukee Union Vice President feels it's just part of a politician's playbook. Playbook is three Ds. It's delay, denigrate, and destroy. You can delay the mail, then you can denigrate the institution and the employees, and then you can come in and destroy it. And the CARES Act did give a $10 billion loan to the Postal Service, and now Congress is considering a $25 billion grant through the HEROES Act. Here in Milwaukee, Kim Shine, CBS 58 News. Kim, thank you.